Hi y'all, welcome back to my channel, Moss Crossings. My name is Moss and today is a little bit of a different Cozy Grove video. I'm actually just gonna be taking y'all on a tour of a few of my campgrounds in this game. Not all of them. I do have all of the campgrounds unlocked, but I'm just gonna be showing y'all three of them today because, I don't know, I'm really proud of how I've decorated my campgrounds and I feel like these three are really in a, in a state where I feel like they're a complete thing. I mean, not, none of them are ever going to be like complete just because of the nature of this game and you're always playing day after day and finding new things all the time. But these are the ones that I feel are most like ready to be shown. And I haven't really seen anyone do videos like this for Cozy Grove, like just uh, campground tours or anything like that. There is like a large decorating kind of component in this game, but it isn't uh, to the extent that it is in something like Animal Crossing. So I think it's like a little fallen by the wayside. And it is like a little bit, um, there's a little bit less freedom to it. You have to take into account that all the plants and um, animals and stuff that you place have certain preferences for decor. And so it makes it a little more complicated figuring out where to place everything. But I'll be getting into that as well as we go along on this tour, but I'm, of course, I'm going to start right here at my main original campsite. I have upgraded my house. I don't know exactly what level it is, but it's like a little cottage now. I don't know if this is uh, like the maximum that you can upgrade it. I think it might be, but this is my sort of rustic area because I've got a lot of berry bushes here and they like rustic decor. And I have also some potted plants around here. The potted plants enjoy cozy decor which I don't have that much of but with all of the plants like potted flowers and bushes and trees they really enjoy like being in groups so flowers will do better if they're around other flowers so if you like cluster enough of them together then they don't really care that much about the decor that's around them so that's like just a little tip so I have um all of these like warm tone flowers around here. I have been like sort of grouping my flowers by color. So I've just got like reds and pinks and then oranges and some yellow over here. And I have a bunch of um, farmhouse decor, like there's a little turnip harvest basket here, some stacked pots. I really love this greenhouse looking item. I think that's actually a cozy item. It's the rare cottage ornament. Yeah, it's cozy. Um, and I have this like stargazing gazebo thing here and some more pots and then in the middle of this area there's obviously a wishing well and I have some berry bushes clustered around it and then I sort of formed a, a barrier I guess of these planters with some berry bushes around them and I, I mixed all the bushes together like there's different types of berries in different places and stuff yeah this is probably the area that's like the most uh structured I would say and I don't have a ton of stuff here just because I wanted plenty of room for my animals to roam around. I've got a lot of animals here, which uh, fits the vibe because it's kind of a farm. <laughs> it's kind of like a farm area. So I have all these birds that are like my little chickens. But yeah, I've got some like planter boxes over here and some garden plots. And then I just made this little feast area from some rustic full tables and chairs. Uh, this, yeah, the most basic sort of area that I'm gonna be showing y'all today, but I think that it works really well and I like it. Um, oh, by the way, like I said, I have all of the campsites unlocked and so obviously I'm pretty far along in this game. I'm on um, day 89 in the game and I have all of the bear spirits unlocked and so I have all of the areas on the island filled out and everything. So I'm gonna try to not include like spoilers for the game in this video, just in case you don't wanna see the areas you haven't unlocked ahead of time. Cause I was definitely trying not to like see too much uh, before I unlocked all the areas cause it was really <laughs> exciting to unlock new areas in this game, especially cause I wasn't time traveling or anything. So I'm gonna try and like cut out the parts where I'm walking past things that you might not have seen, but I'm going now down to my campsite on the bottom right hand of the map. So when I first really decided that I was going to try and like put a lot of effort into trying to make my campgrounds look really aesthetically pleasing, because that's just something I really enjoy in games is like arranging things and making things look nice to me. This was the first campground that I started doing that with. I kind of gathered up all of the plants and stuff that I had accumulated so far and started organizing them by color. 
Um, this is kind of just like a big garden. Uh, this is a lot of natural decor and some cozy decor as well. And I have all of the types of plants here. I have uh, nut trees, fruit trees, flowering bushes, and potted plants. The only thing I don't have here is berry bushes. But yeah, the sort of strategy that I would use here was I would start with a big a decor item in the middle like I have this like bear statue thing in the middle of um, this cluster and then I would just start yeah clustering uh, bushes and flowers around that and trying to keep the the colors kind of grouped together so this is all like black and purple mostly a little bit of blue and I mixed in some different natural decor pieces in here like these mushroom benches and these like mushroom things over here I have this huge mushroom over here, which I love, and I dyed that, I think. It's actually just a common one, but I dyed it with the mint green dye. I haven't dyed that many things in this game, but that's one of the like couple things that I did. And then over here, we have like the orangey kind of section, and I clustered all that around an oversized candle, which this is like my favorite lamp in the game. It's really, really cool. There's a couple of items mixed in here too, and a fruit tree, a couple fruit trees. And oh, by the way, I meant to mention this at the beginning, but at least in this campsite, and I think my other ones too, my, the other two that uh, I'll be showing in the video, all of the animals and plants are at like maximum happiness <laughs> capacity. I think there's like one tree in the last campsite I'm going to show you that is not at maximum happiness, but um, definitely everything in this campground is yeah up here at the entrance i probably should have shown first but i have some fruit trees and some yellow flowers and this like natural gate up here there's another gate this is there's not much going on here it's just a few items but i have most of my like nut trees over here with some purple and black flowers and some different uh cozy decor items over here like these little potted flower thingies another gazebo here i really like this item i really like the super huge items in this game that take up a lot of space add a lot of height to the area and over here there's just like a bunch of pink and red and yellow kind of all clustered together around this bear statue thing and a lot of fruit trees and this one is like mostly white and blue with some purple in it i clustered that around a, I don't remember what the name of this item is. It's like a spring or something. I'm, I'm not sure. It's like a little pond with a tree growing out of it. And most of these, or I think all of these actually also have lamps in them. All of the clusters have lamps in them somewhere. This is like the pink area. This is the one that I had the most trouble like setting up in a way that I liked. And I still don't know if I love it. It's kind of just like a square. That's okay. I'm, I'm, I'm fine. I'm fine with it. And I think that's all. And I, yeah, I have like several spirits here. I have some birds and some deer and a couple of rabbits. I meant to like feed all of them before I did this video so they wouldn't be like having those thought bubbles over their head and interrupting the aesthetic, but I didn't have the ingredients to make that one particular dish. So it is what it is. Yeah, this is my favorite campsite for sure. I'm really, I'm really pleased with it. And I, I love coming here and just like walking around and looking at all my stuff and having things clustered this close together also makes it a lot easier to harvest huge amounts of things at once using the accordion item. But yeah, that's, uh, that's my garden. That's my garden campsite. Yeah, mostly natural and cozy decor and all sorts of spirits and plants and stuff. And the last campsite that I'm going to head over to is my northernmost campsite. I think it's like the, I think it might be the second, no, it's I think the third one that you unlock in the game after the beach campsite. Uh, and my theme on that one is like more bustling decor, like more of a town vibe. I'm going to try and show it to you without spoilers for one of the last bear spirits that you unlock because uh, it's right next to that one's uh, sort of area. So I'm going to try to not show too much. All right, so I'm starting right here down in the corner. I had I had started making this kind of border of medieval towers and a medieval gate thing. And I wanted to extend that like farther, but um, this was just as many of these items as I had. And I um, realized it would actually be blocking the view of a lot of stuff if I made it go all the way around. 
and I, I just wasn't sure if I liked that vibe after all. I also forgot to feed this guy. Apologies. But yeah, I like that being there because it kind of feels like a really old, like, part of town that's kind of mostly been like in ruins or whatever but there's just like a tiny bit left that's been maintained or whatever just on on this one corner but anyway I have like a couple of houses here I wish that you could see them better um because this thought bubble is really intruding on this I'm just gonna um put him in my pocket for a second <laughs> um yeah we've got these two houses and a, just a bunch of flowers and bushes and trees. I really like this house too and I put a fridge out here and a little side table with a uh, chair. Another gazebo over there as well. I'm gonna go around this way though. Got a couple of bikes and then there's a bunch of stuff clustered around um, this statue here. I've got a lamp here. I like to mix in items that have like foliage in them so it's like it's an item so you don't have to worry about being happy or anything uh, but it will add to the like lushness of the area so I like doing that with like the natural stone planters and stuff like that and this bear statue here as well but yeah I have a little playground here with some of the like frog playground items which I think are so cute and I love the way that they look here I'm glad that I was able to collect a, a good little assortment of them because I just really like them and then I have kind of just like a park area over here. There's a park bench and like a fountain. I think this is like a mythical item, uh, which is cool. I don't have a whole lot of those. But yeah, lots of potted flowers and stuff around here and another statue. A whole cluster of fruit trees up here that are all keeping each other company because they don't like bustling decor. So it, I have to like uh, cluster a bunch of them close together in order for them to be happy. Um, I think they also like natural decor, so I can um, put them near these types of planters and stuff, and that'll help. Um, there's like this little free library item. I think they call it like a cottage ornament, but it's so cute. It's one of my favorite items. That's also one of my favorite items in Animal Crossing. I just think it's an inherently precious thing. Um, and I have all these uh, flowering bushes clustered around here. And then here I've just sort of like lined up all of my um, stall kind of items and just stuff that like kind of looks like a marketplace. And there's like a hot dog cart here and some tables. And uh, the silo is behind there just to kind of add some height and give the kind of illusion of th there's like a bunch of buildings here maybe it's some sort of tower um, there's another one of these um, greenhouse looking things and another house here a bunch of flowering bushes all clustered behind here you can't see most of them from the front but they're there and you can harvest them and everything and they just add to the sort of overgrown lush kind of vibe here and this is like one of my favorite items. I don't remember what this is called. Morel Cottage. Yeah, it's like a mushroom house. It's like one of the cutest items in the game. And then finally I just have like a medieval lamp here, some clustered flowering bushes, and a couple of just like, what do you call them? They're like archaeological dig type of items over here because I wasn't sure what to do with them, but I wanted to put them somewhere. Oh, and I just have a little soccer net because I wanted to put it in the park playground area, but it's a common item and um, the flowering bushes don't like common items. It's just funny. I, I just really like this game and how it makes decorating into a bit of a puzzle almost. I forgot to mention I have this like steampunk clock tower thing and a uh, satellite back here just kind of rounding this out. This area I don't think is like done yet. I definitely want to add a l little bit more stuff like here in the, this middle area. Maybe some more stuff around here where these trees are make it more of like a little forest. But yeah I think this is so cute. I, I really like how um, how this flows. Like it feels kind of like a little neighborhood which is what I wanted and I think that's pretty much it. Um, for the video. It was a it was a short one. I just I just really wanted to sit down and share with y'all some of the stuff I had made in this game. Um, the items in this game are so beautiful and so well designed and they make me really happy. So I just wanted to make some cute campgrounds and share them with y'all. If you enjoyed this video, uh, definitely give it a like so I know that y'all enjoyed it and I will probably be making more Cozy Grove videos soon because I'm getting near the end. I don't know what happens at the end and I'm curious to find out. I'll also be coming at you with new Animal Crossing videos, you know, all the time. 
Uh, so definitely subscribe if you're not subscribed and that sounds interesting to you. And thank you so much for watching. I really hope that y'all are having a good day and I'll see you soon with new videos. Bye-bye.